Hi, I'm David Bush, and this is Bush History. Welcome back. I'm continuing my ongoing series called The Presidents, and right now I'm taking a look at Millard Fillmore, 13th President of the United States. President Millard Fillmore, number 12, he had no vice president. His political party was a Whig, well, he was a Whig, and his term of office was 1850 to 1853. Who came before him and after him? What were their political parties? Zachary Taylor, his Democrat, preceded him, and Franklin Pierce, a Democrat, followed him. So we have three Democrats in a row here. Were there any unusual circumstances surrounding his ascent to the presidency? Well, he was the second vice president to become president upon the death of the president in office at the time. The office. Are there any catchphrases? His accidency. Millard Fillmore was you know, laughed at by a lot of people and calling him his accidency is an example of how they felt about him. When he left office, was it by choice, defeat, natural death, assassination, or et cetera? Largely due to, to his support for the Compromise of 1850, he was in disfavor of many of Democratic ideas and many Democratic circles uh, kind of shunned him. So he refused to nominate him. So he didn't get another shot at being President of the United States. Domestic issues and events. Well, we have the Compromise of 1850. We have the Fugitive Slave Act. Remember the Compromise of 1850? California enters the Union as a free state. And we get a very tough fugitive slave law that allows bounty hunters to track down runaway slaves any place in the United States. So basically, we've expanded slavery throughout the entire contiguous United States. And that's the Fugitive Slave Act in 1851. In 1852, we have Uncle Tom's Cabin, which was Harriet Beecher Stowe's direct reaction to the Fugitive Slave Act. And states admitted, 1850, we have California as a result of the gold rush. Foreign policy. Commodore Perry's mission to Japan in which he wanted to open up trade with Japan. There's not a lot of foreign policy stuff going on in the United States until we get closer to the 20th century. But nevertheless, I'm David Bush, and this is Bush History, and we will see you again. Have a good day.